welcome and welcome back to my youtube to our youtube channel david and mary i am mary uh, david is still in rota so guys yeah today is saturday uh, i was supposed not to work today my people traveled they traveled yesterday they will be away like for a few days maybe six or seven days if i'm not wrong so yesterday i woke up a bit early and uh, to help prepare kids so that they can live on time now i'm in the house with uh, their grandma and uh, because i was not supposed to work I wanted to head out a bit earlier, but uh, Grandma requested me to stay so that we can have lunch together because she told me she's gonna buy chicken for your asado and uh, she feels it's too big for her. Of course, I accepted because it's not always normal for them to tell me stay you eat you eat here during your off day it's it's rare okay last time they used to tell me okay don't go out for so long just little bit then you come and you can stay here and eat because it was corona time but this time it's not like before and as you can you know very well uh, the price of commodities have shoot up the price is too high and everything is being reduced day by day even if you check what we use now it's way it's like it's way it's more or less half than how we used to spend last time when i was with them so before I say or I talk to what I want to talk to, kindly if you are new, you are watching my videos and you didn't subscribe yet, guy, please don't forget to subscribe. Do it. Please, please do it. Uh, last time, last, it was Sunday. I made an uh, emotional video. I'm still emotional. I just try. I try not to feel more emotional. Yeah, I wanted to respond to all the comments. But I've been so busy, very, very busy, and the climate is so bad here now. Of late, Spain climate, or let me just say Europe, the climate is not like before. Recently, we had very hot wind one day, evening, yeah. We had very hot wind like uh, I normally see in Middle East. Like I was in Dubai, you could not open the door. And so we had this kind of wind here uh, one of this week uh, after evening. So something that also killed me here is the kind of uniforms. Oh, guys, these uniforms are very, very hot. It makes me feel like... I want to like getting fatigue you know it's very hot you are sweating sometimes I told my boss no I cannot handle this uniform so I use them during morning hours and uh, after immediately we finish lunch I take a bath and I put on my dress I don't want them anymore after noon I want to feel more relaxed so that's not the thing I want to talk to. Yeah, I was, I wanted to 
give feedback to the comments last night but i couldn't i was so tired and i just told david david i i just want to sleep i don't want to do anything else so sorry i'm gonna prevent the rope that is causing havoc outside So, sorry guys, there is a rope that is making noise here of the curtain, so I am in my room now. Tomorrow I'm going to show you how my room look like, I will be free, how my room look like and uh, outside of the window of my room. Today I can't show you because it's, it's not of the order of now video. So, I don't know the some people i don't know maybe they didn't understand my message like uh, someone i read one comment someone was saying uh, don't put uh, your family issue on the internet yes i understand it's a family but i'm the one suffering you know the family is not suffering i'm the one suffering you know so i will highlight that comment now maybe you didn't understand the message and um, i really don't know i don't know how to address the issue it's something that i've been fighting for for so long and uh, i don't get the solution you know and uh, before I continue also, thank you for all those who reached to me. You advised me. You prayed for me. Thank you for beautiful comments. Thank you for word of encouragement, your prayers. I'm so thankful. I feel uh, my heart a bit down more relaxed than before when I was making that video. So, why I reached somewhere and made that video? It's because I was going through a lot. And uh, that time I found myself doing the unthinkable, you know. Sometimes you can be working and your thoughts, your mind, it's, your mind is everywhere and you find yourself making something wrong at work. So, that whole week, I was, I did some things that uh, were wrong and you know this is work, you know. So, there is a time uh, I was cooking coffee and I ended up cooking coffee two times, you know. I made, I prepared coffee as usual. When I wake up, I always prepare breakfast for everyone. Then I continue with work while waiting for kids to wake up. I cream them before they can head over to the either nautical or swimming. So when I was preparing coffee, I always do multi multitasking to beat up with time. So I make coffee and then while the coffee is getting ready, I'm making uh, orange juice for everyone. So I, the, my, the mind told me, oh, the coffee is taking long to get ready. I don't know why. So something told me, okay, I think you forgot to put water in the coffee. So I ended up removing that pot of the coffee from the fire 
and uh, you know it's hot i had to open water to cool it down then open now i stopped making juice um, i want to prepare coffee again so when i opened i found out that everything was okay we had water we had coffee it's just i was overthinking too much you know so now i wasted that coffee I decided to make another one now this second round is when I made a mess you know I put water I forgot to put coffee you know and also it was like oh my god what is going on I had to remove again now that that time is when I relaxed my mind I drank water then I prepared it nicely again. Then it my mind was just ringing so different. Then I was very, very slow that time in working. Yeah, that's why I thought, okay, it's going to be very bad if I don't talk about this. So to answer your question, the one who was saying private issues, some of my family members don't know about private issues. Because if I complain about my property, I mean this is my property. It's not family property, it's my property. It's what I have been struggling to the whole of my life. It's my investment. No one gave me this property. Not from any family member. And these people know my life very well. So why, sh why would they use my, my wealthy to enrich other people? Mm. So what, what do I mean when I say that? The one who is handling this property the little money it's not a lot of money but when you gather this money together for the whole year this is huge money according even to kenyan economy now this is a lot of money mm -hmm. so i want i just wanted to know why he doesn't want to give me some of this money so one day i reached to my grandma and i asked my grandma how she she is helped by the person who is having handling this property and my grandma was so sad because she don't get the help she need you know i don't receive this money from the time I received, I bought this investment, I never received anything, even one euro, even one Kenyan shillings, no. So my aim was like, if my grandma is benefiting from it, then let me just be quiet, let me struggle with other issues until when I will go home. So my grandma don't benefit, nothing, nothing. Mm. and I want my grandma to eat very well when I say very well I mean very well even me when I always have like some money if I have money I want to send to my grandma I always make sure at least at least I send good money to my grandma even when uh, like David has money and I tell David David let's let's buy send some money to my grandma i make sure at least we send to my grandma good man i will tell david okay because we have less do we do you have 50 euro okay if i send 50 euro home to my grandma alone it's better than giving grandma 10 euro you know so, I asked my grandma how she get helped 
from the one who is handling this. Uh, my grandma told me, really, she doesn't get enough help. Like, in one month, she can get like 1,000 Kenyan shillings or 500 Kenyan shillings. Actually, according to the economy now, what will you do with 500 Kenyan shillings? Even it's not enough, it's not enough to buy sugar, to buy uh, flour, to buy whatever, to pay some offering in the church. 500 Kenyan shillings is nothing. This is worth 5 euro here. Hmm? Sometimes, she get 10 euro. That's 1,000 Kenyan shillings. What will you do with 1,000 Kenyan shillings? With the economy now. And where do the other money go? That's what I wanted to know. So I felt so sad for my grandma. Because I wanted, okay, I don't benefit. Let my grandma benefit from it. So when I, I have been following up, I found that the money is going into different pockets, di totally different pockets. Neighbors, so when I mean neighbors, how can you feed a neighbor without feeding your mother first? First, even if my mother is bad, I will feed my mother first before I go and feed my neighbor. How can I leave my mother crying while my neighbor is happy eating? Is that acceptable, really? Hmm? It's not. It's not really acceptable. Hmm? Even here, when we got married, me and David, the court told us very well, in fact, that question was directed to me. Mary, before you feed your family back in Africa, make sure David family are fed, you know. And when I'm here, we always make sure, me and David, we always make sure the mother of David eat before we think of what we have, is it enough for us to send to my grandma? Mm -hmm. So next, the other money is spent to friends. When, when this person meet friends and the friends say, okay, I'm having this problem, the money is given to friend just someone going to the church and say okay we have been with this caretaker in the church for so long and we want to say thank you to her to him or to her whose money do you want to give to the caretaker of the church I don't know this church I never go to it they don't know me you are working. Why don't you spend your salary to this person? You just want to use someone's money hmm? to enrich other people. Guys, it's really sad. Sometimes we build churches at home. Here in Spain, I have no idea who built the church because we have a lot of big, big Catholic church here. I don't know who built it, but if you go in those churches, like a Catholic church, I don't know other churches. But mostly Catholic church, if you are a Catholic, you get help from this Catholic church. I don't know where the money comes from. But in Africa, our churches benefit, uh, are built by the members of the church. And so, 
everyone always contribute money to build the church. Now, if the church is not mine, okay, unless you invite me to, to help with the contribution of building the church, don't use someone else's money to build your church. I respect church, yes, but before you use someone else's money to build that church or to say, okay, I want to stand with this church, I want to build with this church, don't use another person's money. And on this case, the person I'm seeing, this person is working. This person has a lot of properties. They no longer pay for rent both in the village and in the in the town they don't pay rent they have farm they are farming they just get food from the farm and take in the city to eat the children are educated i'm not educated i had no one to educate me when i needed so until this time Neither of my family, I know they are here in these videos, neither of them came to me and told me, Mary, let's solve this outside the internet. They are all totally quiet. Silent. All are silent. Hmm. But when they will need help, they will come into my inbox. Mary, help us to do this. Mary, help us to do this. But now, because I'm telling them no, they are so quiet. No one is coming into my inbox just to tell me, Hi, Mary, no. So who is my family here? My internet people are my family. Apart from David and his family, my internet people, those who subscribe and watch my videos, those are my family. They encourage me. They give me hope. They give me suggestions what to do, you know. So guys, this is not private issue. A lot of people are going through this. I know some friends who have had these issues I'm having are struggling how to deal with it. And so they are watching this video too. It can help them before they go further. Destroying their, their properties, you know. And before I tell, I used this person to invest, this person was totally faithful, faithful. I gave him a tick. I gave him an okay. I really like praised him for his faithfulness. So I don't know where the rain started beating. I have no idea because that faithful is no longer available. It's not there anymore. And so who is my internet family? It's you. So much thankful. So much thankful for super thanks. They, they lift me up. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Thank you so much for coming back and back and again to watch. Without you, I'm nothing. I cannot go further to where I am without you. Hmm? Here, 
maybe a lot of people here don't know how I grew up. So maybe tonight or when I go outside because I think it's getting late, I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna try and make one video. I'm gonna give you a glimpse of my teenagerhood, how I schooled up in high school, how I managed to go through high school with what was happening into me. Because when I say about my investment, you might never know deep inside how I passed through the other life that I was facing and why I made a decision, why I vowed I want to invest. Hmm? It's not easy for a girl to go outside as a teenager, start working, have sound mind, mind to invest. A lot of girls go outside. The only thing they know, nice clothes, nice shoes, makeup, hair. But for me, I knew how my life was and I knew where I want to be. So the earlier I start, the better. So um, let me hope I go outside and uh, I get somewhere to sit. I'm going to try to make this video. I just want to go outside and feel fresh air. So I will terminate this video here. And um, I make another video later. Stay tuned. The other video will be coming tonight. My teenagerhood. My schooling. And how it was. My high school. My high school life. From here, maybe you will not judge me. From here, maybe you will not tell me why I bring internet uh, family issue to the internet. Because I've tried. I've tried to solve outside the internet, but it's not working. Mm. So like, comment, and subscribe to our video. David and Mary, we love you so much. I talk with David all the time. He loves you. He say, I say hi to you. I hope you will accept. So, and let's meet in the next video. Bye-bye.